what's going on Sagittarius how are we all doing how are you all doing I hope you're having a great weekend this is going to be a bonus reading for the new moon that is happening on the 16th of August in the sign of Leo it's a time to wipe the slate clean and close chapters shut that door shut it hard if you need to but close those things that are remaining opened in your life and allow new blessings to come into your life. Um, a cleansing energy to happen, you know, within you and around you. There's plenty of cleansing rituals. You can look them up on, you know, YouTube. Find one that you feel connected to and do it during new moon, full moon, eclipse energy. It's, it's definitely a good ritual to get into. Always take what resonates and then always head over and watch your rising moon and Venus placement reading for additional clarity. You know, we still are in that um, super full moon energy that occurred on the first in Aquarius. Now we're in this new moon energy. We're moving into a second super full moon on the 31st of August in Pisces. And Venus is still in retrograde. So we have a lot going on within energies. A lot of um, intense connections, intense emotions, possibly triggering emotions. So just be cautious of the relationships that are around you and what's possibly coming towards you. Take a step back, you know, from any situation that occurs during this energy. But definitely a time for brand new beginnings. All right, for my Sagittarians. Thank you, Spirit. We have a time to give rather than take. New moon in Virgo. A time for you to allow your heart to be open, to receive, but also trusting in what's coming towards you so that you're all in. Allowing your swords to go down. Virgo also got this, so you may be dealing with a Virgo or have Virgo in your chart. Adjustments are, are required. I just heard meeting someone halfway. So how that may apply. All right, my apologies. I had to get the door. All right. For my Sagittarians during this new moon. In Leo. Okay. Let's see. Locked away. A situation that you were not aligning to. Something that may have seemed closed off. A path or a door. Um, emotions that might have been held back from you or were not aligning with you. Protection that you're giving to yourself from those situations. And your spirit guides want you to know that you are being protected. Sagittarius. 100% they're in your corner. They're guiding you. And look at this. They're telling you to have faith. That what you're desiring, what you're truly meant to have, it will come to you. Have that faith that you will end up with the person that you're meant to be with. That you will have that reunion with the person that you want to connect back with. Trusting in divine timing. And look at this. There is a soulmate connection that you're meant to have. Now do realize that that is a rainbow. So for those of you that resonate with the same sex, that could be a very synchronistic to you. I love these cards and how they take on everything. But there is about to be a blessing here for you. All right, let's get the theme of what this moon is about for you, Sagittarius. Okay. Temptation. Seven of Swords. So there might be someone that comes towards you. then that doesn't have the best energy around them. 
It's saying to make sure you're grounded so you make the best decisions. Look, divine timing showing up three times. There is something coming towards you that you're meant to receive. If you're dealing with someone that made you part of a third party, that person may try to come towards you. You might co come into a connection where there might be someone who has somebody else in their energy. Like maybe in separation or going through a divorce, possibly living with someone but breaking up with that person. There could be somebody that was dealing with a third party where your energy was not aligning toward to them at that moment. And now they're making that break and they're coming towards you. Let's see what comes out in the energy. I do have winter time as a rebirth. Now this could be an ending that occurred between you and someone in the winter of 2022 into 2023. They could be a Capricorn, Aquarius, um, Pisces energy. Let's see. See, I didn't want to get picked up. The Empress. You may have um, a water or an air sign in your in your life, specifically a Libra. However, this is divine feminine energy. Let's see. Let's see what comes out in your reading. Ten of Wands. Feeling a burden, like something's weighing on you. You might, you could possibly putting, be putting too much of yourself into relationships and not receiving that back. And that's your burden. I feel like someone's watching you from afar and they're about to take a leap of faith. There is some sort of, a sort of temptation coming your way. Let's see what that is before I even go on. Spirit, why is the devil here twice? Why is the devil and seven of swords here? Why is the devil and seven of swords here? I feel like someone... came towards you, very passionate, very heated for you, chemistry, but it was short-lived. I feel like you took a leap of faith towards someone. You were ready to be all in and it was short-lived. They could have had an extra energy on their part, possibly a third party. And this ending could be occurring. You may be going through this presently. And with this new moon energy, there, the ending occurs. Let's see what else. I do feel that there is communication coming through the internet. So whether that be a direct message, an email, I, I feel that you're going to be able to trust this email or this direct message that's coming towards you. There's going to be a lot of honesty in it. Yeah, there is someone coming towards you. I definitely have strong earth and air energy. So 
what's here so far is Taurus, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Libra, and Virgo. Yeah. Divine timing is here four times. Sagittarius, you are being protected. Any hard ending that might be approaching you or you could be possibly going through or recently have gone through. It may feel like a burden right now. But I feel like it was the time that you needed to really focus on yourself. Time that you needed to figure out how much you're willing to compromise and what you really want. I got to say, the other readings that I've done up until this point with this new moon energy has been about, you know, a, a multiple of things, love, career, and finance. But this is someone who, this is definitely about someone wanting to be with you. Someone where you took a leap of faith towards, like I said, and it was very short-lived. You could have met them online. They could have contacted you through social media. You may still be connected or be able to see each other's things on your pages if you have that social media. But I, I do feel a soul connection. Even though you're apart from this person, they want to come towards you and they want to give you that equal give and take. I just feel that there might be a hard ending coming your way. I feel two people on your path, two people that you're going to be interested in, uh, that are doors opening for you, and you're going to need to make a decision. And it's almost like the energy I'm picking up on, Sagittarius, is someone who is like a, a bad girl or a bad boy being like, you know, risk-taking, um, adventurous. Not that it's a that's a bad thing. But, you know, like, good angel, bad angel. Like, someone who... How can I best say it? Someone who has their life, you know, completed together. They're very... Um, they're very, you know, go to work, make hard money, pay their bills, have like a, a savings, a good nest egg. Yeah, you're able to travel with them, have fun with them because they're so balanced and grounded. Um, but, you know, it's like a traditional type of person. And then you have the person that's also interested in you that, you know, they're both good catches but always smells good, you know, like they may brush you when they're walking past you and you're thinking like, oh my God, I just want to rip your clothes off. Um, that, that, that desire, that passion is there. Yeah, you find the other one attractive, but it's like here you are with two people that are completely interested in you. One I feel like you've already dealt with, maybe needed to get their life in order before returning. And one that you just have that fresh start with and everything seems amazing. But you always felt drawn to this person that's coming towards you. And needing to make a big choice. I feel someone is going to be extremely hurt in the mix. But I don't feel like that's you. I feel what is coming towards you is your divine partner. I feel this person coming towards you is definitely in their head about you and missing you. But for some of you, I feel like you've already moved on and have a connection. There is a soulmate connection here. And you are being protected through this. Four times, 
you're being put down the right path to your soulmate. But adjustments are going to be required. That might be leaving a karmic. That might be reuniting with someone in the past that you've already that you've always longed for, even though you may have someone else in your life. But I do see you taking a leap of faith towards this communication that you're about to receive. You're going to have to let me know. Spirit, fine, and I never did a final message for the others. Final message for Sagittarius. And I was going to end on Scorpio and do Sagittarius tomorrow, but for some reason I was basically told to do Sagittarius before I stop. Final message. Okay. I'm going to take everything that just popped out. A ending on the Ace of Wands. So the Five of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. I do. I feel someone missing you. Someone who is going through their own emotional upheaval in their life. They felt like the wounded warrior. But in this pause from you is when they're having their epiphany. Yeah, see, this person lacked direction in their life. They weren't grounded. They couldn't offer you long term at the time that they were with you. I, like I said, I feel the intimacy and the passion were on point, but it was short lived. <clears throat> but you made some kind of impact on this person. And they're reaching out to you. But like I said, I do feel somebody's going to get hurt here. I'm picking up on an extra energy where they're go someone's getting hurt, but it's not going to be you. I feel the big choice lies on you. You're going to have to let me know how that resonates. I definitely feel you're going to go towards the person that you have more passion for. Is that the right path? Yes. Always. Go down the path that you feel passion and driven for. All right, let's see. Final messages. Yes, yeah, something is coming in. Very unexpected. Let's see what else. Younger woman. Dealings or relationship with a younger woman. dark woman dealings or relationship with a woman with dark complexion or hair like I said I'm feeling a decision that needs to be made masculine or feminine it does not matter and these two came up dealings or relationship with a woman pay attention to your finances guys girls if you have multiple choice during this energy remember take a step back Allow somebody else to pay for something, but just be careful of your finances during this time. If anything is triggering, take a step back before making that decision. I feel like I need one more. Fox. Shrewdness and resourceful, especially in business. And remember, third party came out in the beginning. And even though these women look very similar, and I do have Scorpio and Libra tattoos here, and Pisces, Pisces, Scorpio, Libra. See those little tattoos on their arms? Hers is on her hand, or her leg right here. Do you see that? All right, you're going to have to let me know. Let's get Scrabble tiles. Different, definitely different kind of reading. E, N, S, 
R Q T O U blank Scrabble tile P D A I I know here's an I also and then those are repeats all right Sagittarius take what resonates leave that heart emoji down below letting me know that you're interested um, in the giveaway this month go ahead and subscribe please let me know how this resonates in your life and I will be back for many more readings so much love and light continue to have a great weekend and week ahead